<laughs> Sounds like things got ugly. I guess I can change it again. We'll just leave that there. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gilstorm's off just a minute ago. I see. I guess the bunny was late. <laughs> Why do you know what that means? This also reminds me of this, like, running joke or phrase. He definitely knows what's going on. <laughs> that my siblings and I had. Have. Or had. We don't really say it so much anymore. We played PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale for a little while. <laughs> Just messing with each other. Until we got, like, a better multiplayer game, like the newest Smash Brothers. And... <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna take this dude's drink order and then finish me finish my story. So I have something to talk about while doing the boring part. He wants a Mars Blast. Alright. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. The bunny was late reminds me of... Anyway, my brother was playing as Sly. Sly Cooper. And his, like, first... His tier one finishing move that could the first thing that you could kill people with with in PlayStation All Stars was the one hippo thing. I think its name was Murray. I actually didn't play the spy uh, spy. I keep trying to mix Sly Cooper and Spyro together for some reason. I didn't actually play those very much. I don't think I played all of them. But one of these is enough to leave your face red like the actual planet. I read that already. But he got he he used that move and got immediately killed by whichever one of us were directly opposing him at the time with our move and he was all upset because we survived it and he was like the hippo is out it was hilarious and whoops what i do wrong two karma shrine this is what i get for telling stories when i should be concentrating huh Anyway, so the hippo is out became this thing that we would just say to each other for no reason. When I got my first phone, I texted him that and then pretended to be someone different. <laughs> it was hilarious. What did I do wrong? With God, I suck. All right, one more time. Once more with feeling. I probably shouldn't tell any more stories while I do this because I won't be paying attention. Alright. Okay. Third time's the charm? There we go. Mars Blast. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed more poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be more red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. VR, can't believe I'm... myself. Hey, who's this girl? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. I'm guessing your equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. <clears throat> Changing the subject a bit, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I've heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Hey boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. <laughs> We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this drone made a lot of noise while, when breaking the sound barrier. Is this the area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Hmm. And if only Gil were here, was here to hear that info, he thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think people in the bank will be alright?
This isn't the first time that a bank is closed like that, but something is off about this. Off how? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour, maybe it's the fact that the news isn't making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? The girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested what happens to clients, but... Never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Alright, hopefully we don't screw this one up, yeah? One, two, three, four. Ta-da! Here. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. <clears throat> yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiqui ubiquitous with fe while feasting. They helped foster bonds and build faction alliances. Give enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and effectively that new someone's in cyberspace. You'll still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? It'd be like, it sounds almost like cloning. That's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine yourself in cyber if your cyberspace found out about the real you somehow. Huh. Imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it's kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether. Only to find out their physical bodies are still alive in here instead of in a place where there is no disease. Well, if well, if they can exist at the same time, then the one that is, you know, in cyberspace or whatever should take solace in the fact that they aren't dying of illness. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in a such and thorough and in, in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. Oh, jeez. They use the words "burn the brain." <clears throat> Ouch. All for nothing because data would be corrupted or broken. Ouch. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something after that. You get in a real evil within vibe from that sentence. The subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here, always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Phew, all done. You wanna stay here? Seems the street's quite seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo mo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo, isn't that a tad expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. <laughs> it, I have still no end of amusement to the fact that it's called Mega Christmas in the future. She's been asking that for about four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift when you're like 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So, what will the nan nano camo module change from your apartment? Got the basic plan. Walls and a piece of cloth. So I picked my kotatsu too. You have a kotatsu? You know what a kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed that you know what it is. <clears throat> I only know what it is because of uh, Persona, really. Well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. 
You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the, decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah. No more dancing. I'm tired. What do we do with her? <clears throat> I'll take care of everything, don't worry. Alright, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Getting a, get a nice wall pattern or something. Flawless service bonus? But I messed it up. Okay. Tips, today's payment, commission, drinks total, total earnings, today's total transfer, total funds. Ah, I clicked off of the game. Almost like on out of audacity. <clears throat> Wants to buy a fan even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. Oh, cool. Alright, so I guess we'll buy a fan first. Where would we go to get that? <laughs> the owner is trying to quit drinking, so he's selling them dirt cheap. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so how do I buy a fan? Sorted cartridges? I could tear one off the, any wall in the vicinity, but who knows what germs they have. <clears throat> a Japanese souvenir that has seen better days still has a vintage charm to it. Okay, hollow plant, lantern, meet the staff, shoulder massager. I don't know, I don't see a thing to buy a fan. Do I, do I just suck at reading? Is that what this is? I'll just return for now. What's that now, Camo? Something to liven up the room? <clears throat> Sweet Jesus. Alright, Nano Camo is a company founded in 2068. Pioneer of nano machine fabric capable of real time texture swap. Meant for military use, we bring the products to the general public at the most affordable of prices. Mascot. Camo Tan is our mascot. She's designed by a veteran <clears throat> character designer from Suba. Sukeban Games. Nice, nice plug. Likes Peach Cake Battleship Tactical Fashion Yushashi. Alright, now how do I customize? There we go. Table walls. Okay, let's see here. We will buy the red one because I like red. And table. Oh! You see, I was under the impression that that was like her bed or something. It makes a lot more sense that it's a table though. <clears throat> and we will uh... Yeah, we'll just keep the one that we have for that. Alright. Let's see here. Dangerous. A white knight just beat me up. Streaming chan thread? Okay, I guess all of these are. May the gods guide side to safety. And no one is reporting it. Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that, Qu it's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. What a coward. Do we have any sources there? I'm posting from the site. It looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Ah, oh, my ear is itchy. Wow. <clears throat> so they're actually helping the protesters? <clears throat> That's not the way to help the people. What if it's just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised. This place, lol. Let's wait for more info. Thread is closed. And it's, it sounds shady when they put it that way. 
<clears throat> Did anyone see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla bar. What? How is she full of herself? Don't care, I'm going next week to ask her out for a date. We all know you won't. Pretty sure nobody here has the guts to ask someone out. Is she still sleeping? Yeah, the bartender and everyone has been telling everyone that they need to be more careful with their words. I wonder if there's any illegal activity going on there. Like, why would you need to be careful with what you say? Maybe they're avoiding casual racism. True, still it wouldn't be rare for them to say do some shady stuff. This city, haha. <clears throat> At least she's sleeping now. Last time I ta saw her taking some rest was about a week ago. Crash is one... Gra <clears throat> Crash is some drug. A white knight just beat me up. I'm lucky to never have that kind of problem with the white knights, I guess. Waiting for the OP to deliver. Uh, <clears throat> I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had the line up for a few hours just to buy milk. And when I finally out of there, a group of three white knights stopped me and asked for my ID. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also wanted to check to see if my bag, or wanted to check my bag to see I wasn't a scalper. Once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service ID. And why? Why would I have that on me? And there's no enforced conscription anymore. It doesn't make sense. And because I didn't have it, they asked for money or else they'd plant drugs on me. I, of course, refused. But they'd lose their patience, and one of them hit me right in the temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, and they just took my groceries and left. I hate this place. I hate it so much. I want to leave this place. I'm so tired of this every day. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Anything cool on Kira Miki's blog? No. <clears throat> Alright. Pollution to reach historic. Something else. How long until someone says pollution is good? There's a book. <clears throat> Even though most countries in the world have adapted their economies to solve the ongoing problem of climate change, Glitch City still relies on ancient technologies in order to keep its low cost low and its profits high. <clears throat> As a result of this backwards policy, it seems we'll be experiencing a huge increase in air pollution next year. <clears throat> Our contamination levels will force the whole population to move away from a lot of areas within the city. The soil is dying. <clears throat> Excuse me, God. <clears throat> My voice is getting all, like, bleh. At an alarming pace, an expert said an expert's in a report. Having to buy special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you better get used to it. <clears throat> the augmented eye is being attacked by AE staff. Hey everyone, we take your security seriously here. At the Augmented Eye, and we have the obligation to disclose that on the recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized to those by those we think are Alice Rabbit themselves. We're a very good impersonator. <clears throat> we want to extend our apologies and inform you we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rabbit just to factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the AE staff. <clears throat> Alarms rise at the Apollo Trust. I hope size are right. Hijacked screens at downtown Casanova. Announced what seemed to be a terrorist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knights counterterrorism unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with the dual threat here. CTUs. Chloe Bauer told AE the bank was being sealed shut, has been sealed shut using its own disaster prevention system. However, none of the terminals at the bank were working at the time. The, base, the building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. <clears throat> Alright, well. 
Oh, that was the dangerous opinions one. All right, looks like we have. <clears throat> it looks like we have reached the end of this session. Hopefully, Sai is all right. It would be a bummer if she wasn't. Oh, wow, I didn't realize we had like pages and pages of save files here. I'm gonna check the shop one more time before I do this because I feel stupid that I can't find a fan. <clears throat> Alright. No. Their game's no collector wants, but they're still nice for displaying. That's hilarious. Nope, I'm st I'm just stupid and can't feel. Oh, there we go, Joker Cyclone. 